guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have got a review, which is something I haven't done in a while. Actually because I don't buy many lock sports tools. But when I saw this appear on the market, it was something I had to get because it's something I've been looking for for quite a while. And if you're a bit like myself and are looking for an EDC all-in-one lock picking set that you can carry with you, you can put it in your pocket or you can put it in your toolkit, it's there when you need it, there are a number of options available in the market. Um, an example of one of those would be uh, lockpicking credit card sets. These are very, very cheap. Um, and I've got two of these. I've used them before. They have worked. Um, the picks for these generally tend to be too small and uncomfortable to hold, though, and just not a very good solution. They're, you know... A, a kind of cool idea, but in practice they're not very good. They're also pen type lockpick sets, but one of my favourite concepts of all is the jackknife. We have folding pocket knives and these work great, so folding lockpick set would uh, also be a very good idea. However, up until now there hasn't really been a good source of these. Most of the cheaper ones, under £10 or so, uh, don't have a, a decent selection of picks on them and uh, some of the more expensive ones that do have a decent selection of picks are just out of my price range and it wasn't until last week when Southard released this which is a brand new uh, jackknife um, that that all changed for me and uh, I believe I'm actually the first person to review this tool so hopefully I can give you an idea of what you get with this and uh, give you an idea of whether this might be a good investment for yourselves. So as some of you know, jack, uh, jackknives have been made by Southord for many years actually, and uh, I went onto their website and it says they've been making them since 2000, which is uh, quite a long time to be making lockpicking jackknives, and these have sold very well to uh, people in the prepping community and the survival communities. Um, but their old design of jackknife um, had a selection of tools that really wouldn't meet my requirements. You see, I prefer to single pin pick. I'm not really much of a raker. I've got rakes and I do use them occasionally, but I'm more of a single pin picker. And generally the first approach that I would take to a lock is, is using a, a hook. And in a jackknife or any kind of everyday carry toolkit I would have to have at least two hooks and in the old Southard jackknife they had one hook which was a deep hook uh, they had a snake rake, a, a city rake, a half diamond, half ball and a broken key extractor that one hook was a deep hook it just wouldn't it wouldn't be practical for me it wouldn't be any use to me but last month kind of as a a way of celebrating 20 years of them making these jackknives, Southward have released a new updated version of their jackknife, which is a little bit different. I believe this re um, replaces the old pick set that they sold. Uh, the model number of this is JPXS-6, I believe. Um, and I just received my one, so uh, let's have a look. Uh, it is worth mentioning, these have only been out for about a month, so there are a lot of companies who aren't yet selling these. They're trying to get rid of their old stock, so these can be quite hard to come across. But you can find these on uh, the Southard website, and I'll tell you more about where I got my one. So let's slip this open. First of all, very nice presentation box, made in the USA. Uh, this would make a great gift for someone. And we crack this open. Right on the top we have uh, cards telling you a bit about the tool and how to use it, which is very handy. I must say I did have a quick look through that. And here we've got the new jackknife. Now right away, if you are familiar with the old jackknife, you will know that this is an, a change. The old jackknife had a polished chrome finish on it, and this has a matte black finish, which I much prefer because polished chrome, 
isn't going to stay shiny for very long. When you're coming in contact with grimy old locks, you're going to be putting dirty fingerprints all over them in no time. So black is a much better in my uh, color, in my opinion. Uh, this is aluminium. It, it's actually very light. I was surprised at how light it was. And the black is anodized. Um, very, very nicely made. There is really n no complaints I can make about the outward appearance of this. It's just perfect. I, I really can't find any flaws in this. Um, so the first thing we've got here is a tension wrench, and I struggled to get this out. You kind of have to get your nail in there and lift it up, and then we've got to, you can see there's a kind of a, a lump here. You push down on that and kind of give it a tug out. I don't think this tension wrench is going to be falling out in a hurry. Let's take a look at this tension wrench, because there is something I want to say about this. Um, it's nicely made, it's got a, a bend on the end there as you saw to provide spring resistance just to hold it in because that is, um, let me see, yeah there's a hole in there, that's where the end of the tension wrench goes in and there's nothing for it to hook on here so it is literally spring tension that's holding it in there but as you saw it's probably not going to be falling out. The tension wrench they give is just one size and that did disappoint me slightly because Here's another tension wrench that Southard make, one of my favourites, and as you can see, it's wide at this end, and it's narrowed down. And this fits a wide range of keyways, and this would work not only in locks with larger keyways, but also locks with smaller keyways. Whereas this, if you come across a very small keyway, or a restricted keyway, you're probably going to struggle to fit it in there, so I wish they'd maybe done something about that. I could modify this if, I, if it really bothered me that much. To release the picks, what we do is we undo this knurled knob right here. And uh, let's take a look at this. Uh, this is much bigger than I thought it would be. Uh, some people mentioned that they managed to snap theirs off, but I don't think that's likely to happen. I believe it's a stainless steel uh, screw. And um, interestingly enough, on Sparrow's, uh, I'm talking about Sparrow's, Southord, on Southord's website, they sell two of these screws, one just like this one, that they sell for their older jackknives, and then I noticed that they also sell one with a rubber o-ring that goes in that groove there. Now, why... I didn't receive one of those with the rubber o-ring, I actually do not know. Maybe this was one of the earlier productions and they've since started adding those rubber o-rings. I don't know, but I'm thinking a rubber o-ring on there would be a really good idea. Because that would add more friction here, I mean that it's less likely for this to become loose and fall out. Anyway, um, what we're going to do is undo this a bit and we can then take out all of our picks. Alright, so we do get six of these picks in here, and let's have a look at them. Right away, I have to say that the finish on these picks is very, very nice. Um, the camera shows up um, a lot of kind of imperfections on here that you can't see with the with the naked eye, but really, I have to say these picks are very, very nicely finished. There's no rough edges on these. These have been very, very well finished. I, I really cannot make that point enough. They have been nicely done. It looks on the camera like they're full of scratches and things, but they really aren't. They're very, very nicely done. Um, you can see here we've got a standard hook, a city rake, a half ball, half diamond, snake rake, and our deep hook. So what's changed uh, from the old pick? Well, what they've done is they've got rid of their broken key extractor and they've put a standard hook in there instead, which was a very very good idea. This standard hook is so much more useful than the broken key extractor and to be honest I could probably extract a broken key with one of these hooks anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to select a tool, 
I'm going to go for this standard hook. This is one of my favorites. And open it up. Screw it down. Now I find that sometimes there is a little bit of play in it, but if you tighten that screw right down, there is no play in there at all. It's very, very nicely done. Nice and tight. One thing I see on here that I do like is that this shaft is fairly thick. It's not really, really thin. So this should be quite durable. Somebody mentioned to me that this pick was um, quite flimsy, and I really haven't had that impression so far, and I'm a fairly heavy-handed picker, so I think you're doing something wrong if you're managing to break these picks. Alright, so let's pick some locks. Um, I've got some locks lined up here of varying difficulty. This one right here was sent to me by Rob Locks as part of his giveaway a long time ago. It came sealed up in his package. Uh, so this is a brand new lock. It's a Maxis, I believe. Yep, it's a Maxis. And I've never picked it on camera before, so this will be a new uh, experience. We've got a uh, six pins in here. It's uh, quite a weird feeling lock. I don't know what material this is made from. And if we take a look at the key, very challenging bitting. So let's see what this Southord jackknife can do to this. A bit of an unusual keyway too. But our jackknife should fit in there. And I don't think it's actually binding under there. Although it looks like it, I don't think it is. Okay, so we're going to use our standard hook. Pop this right to the back. And let's have a feel. I'm just going to have a jab around. And right away I can tell you that the amplification, amplification from this aluminium handle uh, makes this a very interesting picking experience. You can really hear what's going on. And you can really get some great feedback. So let me try and concentrate a bit on picking. And there we go. Open. Didn't feel any opens in that lock. But there we are, it's open. Okay. Uh, next up, I'm going to grab an Abus. This is a Abus 4150. We're going to tension this from the bottom of the keyway. And uh, let's see what we can do to this. Maybe zoom in a bit so you get a better view. Full set. Oh, lost our full set. Let me tighten up the screw. So, there is a little bit of play in this. I don't know, maybe I'm just not used to it. Okay, there is a tiny little bit of play in there, but we've got to remember as well, this is not designed as, an, as a kind of replacement for your full pick set. Oh, and there we go. We've got it open. Oh. Let's have a go at some other locks. Next up, I'm going to try... Well, it wouldn't be a lock pick set if it couldn't pick a master lock. So let's have a go at this. Master lock 140. This should have spools in it. I'm just going to try and get this into a full set. Hmm. This master lock is playing up for me today. Unusual. Oh, there we go. We've got it open. Um... I haven't tried any of the other tools yet, so what I'm going to try and do now is use the city rake, I think. 
one of my favourites. It's a surprisingly effective tool for rocking locks open. Oop, wrong way. I apologise if this video isn't very professional. It's been a while since I've made a video, so I'm still trying to get used to the camera. Alright, so I've got a cheaper brass uh, padlock, Chinese lock. Um, let's see what we can do with the city rake. Oh, that didn't take much. And next up, I have an era. This is a night latch cylinder. Five pins. We're going to stick our city rake in there and we're going to try and rock this open. Oh, and there we go. Open. Alright. So, as you can see, the tool works. It works pretty well. Um, I do feel like sometimes there's a bit of play in the tip. Um, it doesn't really bother me that much. I mean, again, we've got to remember it's an EDC toolkit. It's not a replacement for a full uh, lockpick set. But, as you can see, it definitely works. And it can open a wide range of locks, including some fairly difficult locks like Abus. Um, I have to say that it's really well made, it's very comfortable to hold, it's not too chunky to hold either. Um, I'm just really wondering about the screw here. Um, I might get in touch with Southord and find out what's going on with that, because I think if there was a rubber o-ring in there, that would help keep the screw lock down nice and tight whilst you're picking so it shouldn't come loose um, but as you can see it's definitely usable and there's one other thing in this case that I haven't shown you yet and that is a red lanyard now you might say not very significant well this um, is I'm, I'm actually very glad they've put this in here instead of a normal split ring because you can use this to hang it on your belt or your key ring or um, a, or you can even just put that on there and you'll notice they've chosen bright red so if you happen to drop this outside you should be able to find it because it's nice and bright it, uh, it shows up against the black so uh, I'm really happy they included that in there as well All right. So I think that's pretty much all I've got to say about the Southord JPXS-6 jackknife. Again, I'm sorry this video maybe wasn't very professional, but hopefully it gives you an idea of what you're getting with the pick set. Uh, next I'm going to talk about the price of this jackknife, because I'm sure you're all very interested uh, to know what the price is. Well, on Southord's website it's about $35 or so. And uh, I went on to UK Bump Keys and I found this for about the same price, £34, £35. However, on UK Bump Keys they've got pop-up um, discounts on screen and I actually managed to get this for about £28, which was quite a bargain to be honest. I'm very happy with that. And uh, I have to say, if you're looking for an EDC uh, jackknife or pick set, this is the one I'll be recommending, Southord JPXS-6. And uh, I have to say, Southord have done a great job on this. They are not sponsoring this video, and neither are UK Bump Keys. But um, hopefully that's given you an idea um, as to what you can get with this pick set, and uh, hopefully uh, where you can buy it for a good price as well. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching and uh, for putting up with me today. I hope this has been of some uh, help to you. If you're considering buying this jackknife, I could highly recommend it. Anyway, that's all for today. Stick around for more, and uh, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.